Welcome to my diary, beloved. I'm Tatami, and today I just want to be excited because, I mean, I finally, finally, I've been hired as an artist by a city. I'm not a muralist. I'm a quilter, so I wasn't sure if this would ever happen or if it would take decades to happen, but somehow with one thing or another through my connections through the ancestors through all of these wonderful things coming together like an extension cord I have finally been hired to put my art on the street and I'm just so excited it's about a week from today it's on the 25th of October if you're in Santa Cruz about 5 p.m. I hope you stop by the clock tower say what's up and you know see my art and I mean it's gonna be up till November 5th so you can technically go anytime you don't have to come see me I mean that's that's whatever I would just love for somebody to come and say what's up if you're around this area I made this doll for it look at her look at her and she's actually like look at her dress look at this I planned this out so meticulously this is my second try I made a little pattern she got her gloves she's got her everything I made her actually after a dolly I got when I was a little girl and I loved her so so much and um I just kind of planned her a little bit after this one and oh Jem, you're just so cute my daughter plays with this one now and my son and it just makes me happy to know that I can like kind of carry on that tradition so any rate I made this doll for it I made that cover the um wall hanging of this is in, in honor of Mr. London Nelson he was he managed to buy his freedom from mining for gold and um I have some other art that I'm going to be po printing into posters, but I did want real quilts to be there and I did want like a real doll to be there, some real sewing to be there. So that's all just coming to fruition. If you remember a couple months ago, I think it was for the Medicare for All March, I was contemplating making street art and my husband basically convinced me out of it because he was like, girl, you're going to spend all this time sewing and then you're going to put it up and then the city is going to send somebody out who's going to clip, clip, clip and they're going to just chuck it in the trash. That's what they do with art, like who street art. They paint over it, they clip it off, they throw it in the trash. So I was like, okay, I'll just be patient. And then now I'm officially, well, they ain't official official. I ain't got it in my bank account yet. But they did send me the information saying they want me to like fill out the W-9 and stuff. So that feels pretty official. And I'm really excited about it. I'm just so excited to put my art out there. I have some stuff tie-dyeing in my bathtub as I speak. I'm going to be sewing that into a patchwork quilt. I'm go That's going to be like the altar cloth of it. I'm just like... My fingers are tingling. It's so exciting. Okay, anyway, I want to just show you some of the details of her because it's exciting. So I this is something that used to decorate my kitchen, but then I revamped it. I just took it off. I was like, I know I have fake flowers around here somewhere. And it, lo and behold, finally my eyeballs saw it right above the kitchen sink. I have all of these sunflowers. So I took one of them down, ripped it all apart, hot glued it all to her head. I she, look at her little earrings have like rose is and then she's got her little gloves she got her little pearls she's got a little butterfly it's um it's a safety pin this is like a, a tutorial i saw here on youtube uh just a fair warning you can't hot glue crystals i guess i need something called e600 or something but i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that they ain't paid me yet but i swear they better pay me before this starts so i can get some of these things done that i need to get done at any rate so um i did have some of these other fabrics look at her big dress look at her cute little feet wait Look at that. Oh, look, at she got like bloomers. I put the lace on underneath. That's a surprise. It's just a happy surprise. And then she got these little anklets. She's got her little bracelets. Um, I think I might put one around her neck. She needs it. She needs it. Anyways, so um, when I was a little girl, my big sister used to get, like tease me by saying that I had like a sunflower head because my hair would frizz out of braids so quickly because it just would. I have like... 3c hair it just doesn't want to do whatever i want it to do ever so this is like my way of reclaiming that but also it's like a happy way of reclaiming i don't mean it as an insult she definitely did and it definitely made me cry as a little girl i was so embarrassed i would like wear my do-rag meticulously until it was time to leave the house so that my braids would be like freshly flat every day oh it was ridiculous at any rate 
So uh, yeah, I used the end of the fabric. So there's a little white stripe down the end, but we're going to pretend that doesn't exist. And basically she looks amazing. My next part that I want to do is I have all these fabrics tie dyeing in my bathtub right now. It's going to take like six to eight hours. So it's going to be about 10 o'clock at night when I toss those in the wash one at a time, hopefully get them done dried, hopefully. And then tomorrow I can just start sewing, sewing, sewing patchwork. Those ones I hope to make into really longer than they are wider. And then they can kind of serve as an altar cloth almost. Um, oh, he's fake crying. My kids are fake crying for a game they're playing. Okay. So I'm plan on, um, having that kind of as the altar cloth at the top and then they on the ends of both ends there's going to be somebody who's feminine and someone who's masculine on the end so i'm going to applique that like right now as soon as i get off and then what other part am i oh and then i have like i have my hand bowls that i'm doing i have the uh you know this one i think i'm not going to put out the real thing i think i'm going to take a picture and then print out as a poster i'm also going to try to see what i can get that's on etsy that's a digital download that's a beautiful i'm hoping to get something with like ahmad and briona and george uh for like a kind of a black lives matter type of theme since that's what originally started the altar i think it would be great to continue that i also have um my Sankofa Cosmogram that I made and sewed, which I think will be great to take a picture of and make a poster of. That's gonna be up there. Um, what else? Oh, I did wanna take a picture, uh, print a picture of the women from G's Bend, one of their na ar National Archive type pictures, and maybe something else that includes the men of our community as well. So I wanted to print those, have those in posters, hopefully put them into frames but we'll see i'm not sure exactly how all that will go but yeah the, the only issue is they haven't paid us yet because apparently santa cruz i've been talking about their gentrifying nature it's not the the rich people that people go to santa cruz for it's the hippie tradition it's the uh poor people the artists who have come through and laid out some tradition, but those people have all been run out of Santa Cruz. Those people can't afford to live in Santa Cruz. Those people have been criminalized in Santa Cruz because they, they, they're they told to get the fuck out of Santa Cruz. So now Santa Cruz is in this weird position where it pays like rich people. It like reimburses them because rich people don't really need the money. So they just like do whatever they want and then they get, that's basically what's been happening is they get reimbursed, but us artists who don't have that kind of cash i don't have a thousand five hundred dollars to just spend on art supplies and get reimbursed later that's not my life i got kids i got a life i'm like going through a housing crisis so i got a lot of shit going on so i can't really do that so they're gonna get a piece of my mind when this is all over uh but i can't really give them a piece of my mind right now i can just use what i have and do the best i have it, uh, with what i can or do the best i can with what i have and i'll shit talk later because i feel like they're almost deliberately trying to sabotage us and i refuse to let it happen they are not going to sabotage me this is my first opportunity to be out there as an artist and to collect with what the people i know in my community and put their stuff on the altar so i refuse I refuse to be held down by this bullshit. I think I'm going to be able to hold it down. And I don't know. I'm really excited. I feel like I just talked really fast for a really short period of time. But whatever. That's basically where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. That's what my life is. Thank you so much for watching. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads. And maybe I'll see you in Santa Cruz. October 25th at 5-ish p.m. Have a good one. See you next time.